The Princeton Art Guild showcases exhibits on an eight-week rotation. The Caldwell County Middle School art students of Miranda Meeks and the high school art students of Audrey Bartolotti opened our year in 2018 with this exhibit in our Charles Alvin Lisenby Gallery. Our February and March exhibit, Clay Oddities, featured the clay sculpture work of Paducah artist Henry Stratmeyer. Beginning in the third grade, Henry was fascinated with characters from a video game and watched an online video of how to make them using clay. He enjoys taking a block of clay and forming it into something dimensional, and so it became a hobby and a creative outlet. Henry was also featured in Paducah Life magazine with his claymation creations. We were honored to showcase this solo show in our gallery, and this exhibit is the first time Henry's work was shown in a gallery setting. For the love of art and each other, showcased in our gallery during the months of April and May, Amy Millspa and Richard Veselik have been creating art, both collaboratively and individually, for their entire 26-year marriage. Their goal is to connect with people on a visual and emotional level by focusing on the small details that connect us all. Although their canvas is always changing, color is the thread that ties all their work together. Spring Break 2018 will forever be etched in the minds of 44 local travelers. The Caldwell Traveled exhibit shown in our gallery during June and July was a collaborative exhibit of reflections from an Italy and Greece adventure taken by students, their instructors Miranda Meeks and Audrey Bartolotti, and parents. Their goal was to create documentation of this incredible learning experience. Students were asked to create an art piece reflecting on the 10-day adventure. This show is the result of that reflective process. Miranda Meeks stated in part, miles were walked, streets and culture were explored, eyes were opened, art was seen, knowledge and growth were gained, sketchbooks were created, memories were made, and lives were changed. The Similarity of Contrast, a collection by Audrey Lamb, showed in our gallery during the months of August and September. Exploring natural light combined with the need to contrast the things she finds beautiful lends itself well to Audrey's natural curiosity. When a camera is added, she is able to capture moments in time that express her creativity in its purest form. Audrey's work features human subjects, but the locations are just as much a part of the focus of her lens. Every location, model, article of clothing, and expression is deliberate. Audrey's goal is to show the beauty of the model and the location, its aesthetics, and its life. This was the first time Audrey's work has been shown in a gallery setting. The gallery exhibit in October and November was the work of artist Jessica Best Board of Princeton. The show So Much Left to See graced our gallery like a song. Jessica reveals emotion through abstract expressionism with layers of paint to give each piece depth and dimension. She paints on canvas and reclaimed wood. You will rarely find a paintbrush in her hand, but rather a scraper, credit card, or even peacock feathers. Whether it be a nude painting or abstract, her eccentric style is all about capturing the viewer's soul. Jessica's work has shown in the core gallery in Louisville, Kentucky, but this was Jessica's first solo show in a gallery setting.
Finishing out the year in our gallery was the featured work of Nikki Dawn Salyers. Nikki is a native of Princeton with a career spanning 28 years with the Tennessee Department of Corrections, culminating in his 12 years working as a counselor three for the death row facility. Nikki is a self-taught artist and poet. Nikki became serious with his drawing in 1985 through his three phase art style. The first phase sets the parameters of how big the drawing will be and the features are set in place. The second phase is shading and the third is putting it all together. Nikki will tell you he drew what he loved, which is the name of his first gallery show and the first time his work was seen in one location for the public to see. On March 29th, Princeton Art Guild members gathered for their annual meeting at the Guildhouse to give out honors and awards. Bruce Perkins, member artist, docent, and our grounds maintenance committee chair was recognized as the 2017 Volunteer of the Year, and Mike Keller, sandstone artist of Princeton, was recognized as the 2017 Bill Grandstaff Artist of the Year. Certificates were given out to committee members, docents, advisory council, and our board of directors. On March 24th, we had a polymer clay workshop under the direction of 11-year-old artist Henry Stratmeyer. Participants sculpted Horton, The Elephant from Horton Hears a Who by Dr. Seuss. Refreshments were served in celebration of Dr. Seuss's birthday. This was the first instructional class for Henry, of which there's sure to be many. On Friday, April 27th, the Guild was honored to host an art field trip. The holistic homeschoolers of West Kentucky were in the house. We opened all the doors and enjoyed painting in the main gallery. We focused our artwork on farming and the beauty of Earth. Thank you to Kathy Lewis of Kathy's Confections for instructing the Mommy and Me Edible Sculptors Workshop at the Guildhouse on May 5th. If you think these unicorns and dragons are cute in these pictures, you should have seen them in person. Oh my, this was a super fantastic class. Special props to Kathy Lewis, who is an incredible artist and class instructor. Art on Main was held on Saturday, September 8th, during the annual Black Patch Heritage Days Festival in downtown Princeton. For the second year, member artists of the Guild set up on the east end of Main Street, both sides of the street in front of the Guild House, selling their wares from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mark your calendar for this year's event, set to take place on Saturday, September 7th. For more information about setting up at this year's event, Contact the Guildhouse at 270-365-3959.
On Sunday, September 30th, the Jazz on the Lawn event, sponsored by the Princeton Art Guild and hosted by Adsmore House and Gardens, was held from 3 to 5 p.m. with the Todd Hill Trio Jazz Band playing live on the lawn. That's how you'll stay. That's why, darling, it's incredible that someone so unforgettable thinks that I am unforgettable too. Plain air painters were on site during the Paint What You See outdoor paint event. The Black Patch Heritage 18-piece exhibit owned by the Princeton Art Guild and painted by Princeton artist Al Curry was set up around the grounds during the event. Adsmore's Black Patch Tobacco War 1906 tours were offered at a discounted rate. This event was free to the public. On October 27th, the annual Artisan Festival was held at Adams Breezy Hill Farms and Restaurant with free hay rides and a singer-songwriter series sponsored by Planters Bank in Princeton from noon until 5 p.m. in the outdoor gazebo. Spencer Young played a 45-minute set starting at noon. Spencer is a local singer-songwriter and also a member of the band Rue and the Willing. Our 1 p.m. performer was Tessa Oglesby, a singer-songwriter from Morton's Gap, Kentucky. She began playing, singing, and writing in 2007. Her voice has been compared to Bonnie Raitt and Janis Joplin. She is often accompanied by her husband, Joey, who plays the mandolin, guitar, dobro, and harmonica. Our 2 p.m. performer was Justin Cole, a singer-songwriter from Glasgow, Kentucky. Justin has been awarded the winner of the South Central Kentucky Premier Talent Show in Bowling Green, Kentucky, as well as the overall winner of the Kentucky Opry Talent Search in Draftonville, Kentucky. In the window, it caught my eye, but I just couldn't help but stare. I was drooling everywhere. It was the nicest pair of boots that I've seen anywhere. So I woke up the next morning, happy as could be, and made my way back to the store, just my wallet and me. And as I ran into the store, I fell straight to my knees, and I picked up those old boots in the window that I'd seen. But I remember when I Kentucky has historically proven itself fertile ground for prolific singer-songwriters. Western Kentucky's Tony Logue is exactly that. Fresh off the release of his latest album, Serpents and Saviors, Logue is slowly carving out his place among his respective Kentucky alumni. Tony Logue was our 3 p.m. performer. Rue and the Willing are an independent roots rock band from Kentucky. They are led by songwriter, instrumentalist, and vocalist Kent Wells with percussionist Sean Finley, Spencer Young on bass guitar, and Jamie McCraw on guitar, the band finished their first original solo album in April 2018. The main purpose in their music is love. They are a fun and purpose-driven band and are 4 p.m. performers. What you are is great.
Artisan vendors set up on the grounds from noon until 5 p.m. selling their handmade, handcrafted arts. From willow to crochet, soaps, wood turn items, lapidary arts, pottery, ceramics, baked goods, to fine jewelry, you are certain to find one of a kind unique gifts on site. A raffle is held annually as part of this fundraising event for the Princeton Art Guild. For more information about setting up at this year's event, contact the Guildhouse at 270-365-3959. Nine spring workshops were held with Miss Alicia Mincer as the instructor during March, April, and May. 21 workshops were held throughout the year with Miss Alicia. Workshops at the Guildhouse are set up in six sessions on Tuesdays from 4 to 5 p.m. ages 4 and up. Watch our Facebook page for scheduled workshops throughout the year as classes are limited and you must sign up your young artist in advance to reserve a spot. Fall workshops with Miss Alicia were in September, October, and November.
and there were holiday workshops with Miss Alicia in November and December. Princeton Mayor Cody Young asked if our young artist would paint palette trees for a downtown project for the holidays. Our artist came through with creativity and holiday cheer just in time to adorn Santa's house for his busy schedule. The Princeton Art Guild is located at 115 East Main Street in downtown Princeton, Kentucky. You will find one-of-a-kind, unique art for sale and show in the Guild House. Everyone is welcome at the Guild House and there is no admission to come in and look around. I encourage you to stop in and shop and support our local artists. Our hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. We also have special events outside of these times. Check our Facebook page for event information. And while you're there, like our Facebook page. If you would like to be a member of the Princeton Art Guild, our membership is $20 a year for an individual and $30 a year for family membership. That's everyone in your home. We also have student memberships for $15 a year. We've been focused on community arts since 1978. We would love to have you join us.